I'm Rob with Precision Zone, and today I'm going to be talking about checking for a demagged motor. And what I mean demagged, I mean demagnetized. There's a couple different ways this can happen, but we're not going to talk about how it can happen. We're going to talk about how you can check to see if it happened. So, when you rotate a servo shaft, it should spin freely. Now, if you have an oil seal installed on the motor, it might have a little bit more resistance, but it still should feel pretty free. There's two ways to check for a DMAG motor. One, is it cogging? Or two, does it have low back EMF? Well, you're not gonna be able to check for low back EMF, but you can check for cogging. And this is one of the things that our engineering team might ask you is, hey, is your motor cogging? So this motor is currently not DMAG'd. And to simulate what a cog might feel like, you can take some type of metal jumper and go between two phases, like A and B or U and W, and you'll see that now there's a lot of resistance, that it's cogging, okay? So you can also have a, so you can have a problem with the motor, but you can also have a problem with your cable because if you cross two of these leads, you can get the same problem. So you might have a damaged cable that can be making your motor cog, or you might have a demagged motor that could be causing it to cog. Well, I hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions, you can always contact us at precisionzone.com. We're here, we perform free motor evaluations, and we provide 12 month warranties on all of our motor repairs. Thanks for watching.